another application of IIoT is in the food industry, agriculture and food industry. So, in the food industry, let us first try to understand what actually happens. So, we have agricultural produce, those agricultural produce get, uh, they come from the field, then uh, those produces are basically taken through different processes and finally, uh, you know the consumers basically consume the agricultural produce. So, let me elaborate this little bit further. So, the process is well known as field to plate, right. So, field to plate. So, what it means is that from the field where the production is made to the plate where the consumption is made, what is the what is the supply chain? What is the chain of production? So, it starts with let us say that it will start with the agricultural field. So, agricultural field you know uh, in the field you would be growing the crops. So, let us say that sowing of seeds, sowing seeds the farmers are going to sow seeds, grow crops apply fertilizers, apply pesticides etcetera and then after the, the agricultural plants uh, they become matured then uh, basically uh, these crops are harvested. Right. So, these core crops are harvested. Uh, so, you have harvesting. So, the next step broadly is going to be harvesting. Following harvesting, these food grains, these food grains are going to be processed, processing, food grain processing. After food grain processing, we are going to have let us say the packaging, packaging of the food grains. After packaging of the food grains, these packages are going to be transported, transportation, transportation and logistics. So, they are going to be transported typically to a whole seller wholesale market, then it goes to the retailer retail market and finally, the consumers are going to buy and cook the, uh, the produce agricultural produce and they are going to consume. So, basically this is going to be the plate right. This is typically the chain from the agricultural field to the plate. So, field to plate this is typically the chain of uh, activities that are uh, typically followed. This is the supply chain let us say. So, supply chain comes because ultimately you know for each of these things this supply uh, will have to be ensured uh, through this entire, cy uh, entire cycle right. So, all these supply through these entire processes and the different steps will have to be ensured. So, we are uh, talking about this kind of scenario. So, in this kind of scenario sensors will have to be used, uh, your sensors IoT devices will have to be used in the agricultural field for, um, for monitoring the growth of the crops, for monitoring uh, the sowing of the seeds, for applying fertilizers you know precisely adequately and so on and also to precisely and adequately apply the pesticides. So, sensors, actuators plus different agricultural robots, robots could be used over here. So, not only over here, even in step 2 for harvesting also these could be used for 
food grain processing again these could be used for packaging likewise, transportation logistics, wholesaler, retailer, plate, not plate, plate actually I mean so let us leave this aside. So, we still are not in a point of having a plate which is sensor enabled and robotic plate and so on. So, we you know so that is a hard dream to be achieved. So, but till retailer basically you know sensors, actuators, robots etcetera these are all going to be uh, you know are going to help these systems or the machines that are helping in the processes and the different steps etcetera to be uh, made much more efficient, autonomous and so on. So, let us now look further ahead and see what we have in terms of I IoT implementation in the food industry. So, these sensors actuators is something that I have already mentioned, right? but they will have to be networked. So, we need to have networked sensors for food quality monitoring along the supply chain that I have just mentioned. Sensors and their networked sensors for monitoring the environmental conditions. So, food grains going through different warehouses whether the temperature of the warehouses have been properly maintained monitoring of those temperatures, the trucks carrying those grains their temperature monitoring etcetera those will also have to be done. So, sensors are very crucial over here in this entire food supply chain. Communication layer basically talks about stakeholder access, supply chain data etcetera etcetera, the communication between the different stakeholders, access to the stakeholders, communication between the different components of the supply chain collecting different data through the use of sensors from the sensors through the communication network all of these things are required. And finally, the at the application layer we need to have applications for farmers, retailers, government analysts, consumers, insurance companies which I have not written over here, but very important. So, for insurance companies also it is very important. So, you need sensors for doing number of things, sensors for monitoring humidity, temperature, composition of food products and so on. So, sensors can do number of these different things, but the sensors will throw in, throw in lot of data in real time which will have to be analyzed in real time as well in order to make the most out of this, those data that have, that have been retrieved. So, you need easier process control, increased food safety etcetera and it is also very important to have adequate end to end traceability. So, I told you about I told you about the field to plate concept at the outset I explained it. So, field to plate and the corresponding supply chain. So, if you have this adequately implemented using suitable IOT solutions it would be possible for example, to trace a rice packet back to the paddy field that would be possible. So, as you can understand that this is going to be this is going to be very attractive if you can implement it properly. So, the impact of IIoT in the food industry is like this that we are going to have efficient production line, we are going to have adequate suitable efficient food safety measures, the food safety regulations implemented. We are going to have transparency of the supply chain, we are going to minimize the wastage in the entire supply chain, we are going to have minimized wastage of food resources. We can analyze in real time for example, the information of food products and reduce the food wastage. So, all of these things are possible if you have IIoT implementation in the food industry. So, on the farm we can have sensors to monitor weather, to monitor the crop maturity, to monitor the presence of insects, to monitor the condition of the field with respect to the soil conditions for example, how much soil moisture is there in the field, how much is the water level, how much 
is the how much is the fertilizer content of the field, the soil nutrient condition of the field. So, all of these things are possible with the help of IoT implementation in the food industry. So, these are some of these different applications likewise you have you know large number of different applications that are possible for IoT implementation. So, I am um, now, now going to give you some examples. In the livestock barns, sensors can help in monitoring the health parameters of the different animals, different livestock such as cows, buffaloes uh, and different other livestock uh, including sheep and uh, goats and so on. So, all of these live monitoring continuous real time monitoring using IoT enabled devices is possible uh, in the farm. Automated feeding, feeding cycles can be set up with the help of IoT implementation. Uh, diet control of these different livestock, the different farm animals is possible with the help of IoT implementation. Automated temperature control in the brooding uh, barns and hatchery, these are also possible with the help of suitable IoT implementation. On the equipment, IoT enablement can be done in terms of uh, you know GPS tracking, whenever uh, you know these animals are moving around their exact location, their position etcetera could be could be tracked. This is just an example like this GPS could be used for tracking uh, the movement mobility of different other components in the IO, uh, in the food industry. Drone assisted field monitoring is quite common, drone assisted field monitoring applications in agriculture are uh, quite uh, common and are being implemented. We ourselves in the lab, we are working on different agricultural uh, drone applications for doing number of different things. So, uh, in the food industry, IoT implementations can be done for maintenance, embedding sensors to these different machines such as farm machinery, tractors, etcetera, etcetera to monitor their condition to monitor their performance, to detect whether any machine is going to go down in the future, early detection of warning signs, smart maintenance etcetera, etcetera of these machines extending the lifetime of these equipments, all of these things are possible with respect to maintenance in the uh, food industry through IoT implementations. Uh, IoT implementation in the food industry can improve the margins through predictive analytics, spotting early warning signs, uh, making well informed decisions and maximizing profits. For the consumer, there are different initiatives, smart level is an initiative by the grocery manufacturers association GMA, which uses QR code to provide product related information to the consumers. These consumers consequently can get information about the ingredient details of a particular food item, allergen exposure of that particular food item, nutrition value and many different other information. Consumers can scan the QR code to get details about the product. The product information includes nutrition, ingredients, allergens, third party certification, social compliance programs, usage instructions, advi uh, advisories. Uh, and also safe handling instructions. In the factory, IoT implementations can help the different machineries in the food processing industry, the different workers who are working in the food processing industry to remain connected autonomously. This connectivity can help in gaining insights uh, to improve the quality of the product, food product the quality of the food processes and so on and consequently they can also help in the reduction of the time to market TTM. So, um, IoT implementations can also improve compliance and safety of the food product, compliance to regulatory standard, compliance to best practices and also safe handling of the food products. These are all possible with the help of IoT implementation in the food industry. IoT implementation in the food industry can also help in empowering the workers through augmented reality, safety glasses and other wearables, thereby increasing the overall productivity and efficiency 
of their processes, efficiency of the workers, efficiency of the machinery that they are using. City Corp is an intelligent indoor garden that provides intelligent indoor garden to grow fruits, herbs, vegetables, greens and edible flowers. They have implementation of automated climate control, automated live, uh, livestock monitoring, automated uh, you know, uh, smart notifications which can be sent to the concerned stakeholders and also to the plant doctors automated notifications could be sent. Diagenetics has this component uh, has this product the BioRanger which can uh, help in detecting the presence of microbial diseases in the food. food. BioRanger is a small handheld device that connects with Android app and instantly detects pathogens in the food. Esqueso is a company that has the cooking uh, sorcery uh, the product uh, which is basically for smart cooking. So, they have this Wi-Fi connected smart co cooking device that can help in easy monitoring of the cooking status via the smartphone app. Smart cooking basically helps by placing the food packet and Eskeco uh, device in a pot of water, selecting the recipe and starting via smartphone app, you can get uh, your food cooked in a smarter way through minimal involvement. Culinary science industries has the flavor matrix which basically infuses foods and beverages with unique flavors. They collect data on the food ingredients, collect user data and uses different implementations of machine learning and data analytics to enhance the flavor of dishes and provide user specific food and beveraging uh, pairing. IntelliCup has the smart cups solution which basically is a smart beverage vending machine which reduces the waiting time and increases the profit at the beverage shops. These are sort of like IoT enabled cups which have NFC integrated chips at the base of the cup uh, and uh, they connect the cups to the mobile banking platform and IntelliHead which is a mod modular dispensing unit. So, this NFC chips basically helps in connecting each user to a cup. So, the cups are usable and made with biodegradable material. So, how the smart cup works? So, basically there are separate apps for the merchants and the customers. The customers create IntelliCup accounts using the app. They transfer the funds to the e-wallets and linking uh, thereafter the cups are linked to the e-wallet by scanning a QR code via the app and docking the cup on the dispensing unit using the IntelliHead. So, customers thereafter enjoy the beverage that is finally produced through this smart cup. Likewise, there are different other IoT solutions for the food industry by Spin Inc for smart coffee brewing and Farm Shelf for smart indoor farming. So, these are a list of different references talking in more detail about these solutions that I have talked about briefly IoT solutions uh, that have been used in the food industry, food processing industry and so on. So, if you are interested about any of these solutions that I just mentioned, you are encouraged to go through these references. Thank you.